Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Lunkers with Landon. Today we will be going over what I got at the International Sportsman's Expo this year. Um, it is basically a big convention where it's like there's there's like buildings for hunting and buildings for fishing and it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of different vendors, a lot of different things that you can get there. Like pretty much anything and you can there's like also a lot of vendors that you can book hunting and fishing trips with like charter boats and different things like that and there's also this like big demo tank it's like a truck with filled with water with fish in it and stuff and there are people putting on seminars and stuff like that there and it's a yeah it's just a lot of fun um let's just hop into what i got there a lot of it is for bass fishing but the two things that are not are these swim baits these are for lingcod and rockfish they're by pitbull tackle and it's a it's a durable material it's pretty stiff but it's also very flexible if that makes sense like look, look at the tails you can see how flexible those are and that is good for two things number one it has a really big kicking action and number two it's um when the fish bites it it folds in its mouth like see how it's folding right now it folds up a ton which makes it easier for them to fit in their mouth and it's a lot better hookup ratio so that's good and the cool thing they have on this is the chartreuse bellies it's just easier for the fish to see i guess and this is in a cool like blue color with blue fleck through it and this is what's called a root beer color which is a brown and as like as you can see there are gold flecks throughout it so those are those are nice they're like two bucks a piece i think and the next things that I got there's like a whole building for fly fishing where they do they do like it's not a demo tank but it's like a tank where they show different casts and stuff like that and there's no fish right in it or anything though and I just got some flies there it's pretty cool a lot of it's for bluegill and bass like I got small deer hair cadises and like this cool warm looking fly you guys can see that that's cool. Other ones I got are some like big, it's basically like an Adams fly or like a parachute Adams with a top, but the rest of it is like a bug body, like with foam legs and stuff. Those are cool. And I got like some different larva things and stuff like that. And then, so next will be this crankbait that I was given at vendors. They hand out baits and stuff like that a lot. This is a, this is from 13 Fishing. I've already opened it because I fished with it already. But it's a three quarter ounce uh, lipless crankbait. And it's in like this cool chartreuse scale where it's like chartreuse here and then like, per, like I guess a bluegill style, the rest of the body. And it has these really big knockers. You, you guys could probably hear those. Cool red eyes. They're new from 13 Fishing, I believe. They just came out with a whole line of hard baits, which is crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, boots, jerk baits, stuff like that. And they also have rods and reels. So that is cool. And the other bait, which is the most exciting bait, you guys heard me talk about G Rat in my unboxing video. And if you haven't seen that, you might want to go check that out. It I unbox the reels, my reel and rod. That's for my new swim bait setup. So this, and I showed the g -Rap Magic Mouse, I think. And that's what I'll be throwing on this. But this is the new Sneaky Pete. I know it's not in the box right now. It's already taken it out. But it is in this Pringles can. This is a very nice way to store tackle. But this is it right here. It's in their baby trout color. And what's cool about these, swiveling hook hangers. So when you pin a fish with only one hook, which usually doesn't happen with the glide bait, but if you do, it swivels so the, there's no pressure on it and it's just better for the hookup ratio but when you buy it it does come with the tail i just took this one off because it is plastic which means that it does like fold when you have it stored in something like this I actually read on a magazine store big swim baits and stuff like this in those especially huddle stands because those will make indentions and stuff if they're laying on other baits so that's good but anyway with the tail that's just what it looks like. I bought a three pack and it already came with one. So I have four, 
but a three pack of those is like six dollars. The bait retails for thirty five, I believe. And I will have links of this bait and a few other if I can get a few other in. But the link for this will take you directly to G Rat's um like website. They also sell these at Taco Warehouse and stuff. Yeah, but basically. The tail, it has like this bigger end right here and the skinnier end. And all you do is you can see there's like a cutout for it. You just put it here and all you do is just push it in just like that. And that's the tail for it. And then th what's cool about this is the weighting system, the rattles, so it will like rock back and forth. And you can also hear those. And their other version of this, which they don't sell anymore, it was like like a different model they had like clear versions and you could see all the like the rattle system it's really cool but yeah this is the color again baby trout it's really cool and to take it out all you have to do is just lift up like this and then this pulls out like that so this is the packaging it's in if you ever like sandy anywhere and you're interested in buying them I actually got to talk with the people. And as you guys know from my unboxing video, last year when I was at the Sportsman's Expo, the guy gave me that mouse, which I have. Okay, let me get that real quick. Lying right here. That's it, right there. The guy from G-Rat at the Sportsman's Expo last year gave me that bait. And then this year, I bought a bait. They actually weren't selling them at their vendors, but they had Fisherman's Warehouse and Sportsman's Warehouse and stuff selling them. So I went over and did that. Yeah, but they're really nice guys over there. They're, yeah, all their baits are high quality stuff, work well. They're really good. So next, I got these uh, reel covers. This is for a spinning reel. And then I got two for bait casting reels. These work for size 200 and 300, I think, or up to size 300. So that will be good. I can cover my swim bait reel with it because it's a Dio Alexa 300. So that would be good. And then what the other one is for is for this new reel right here. I got this at the expo. It is a Shimano. Casita, I believe is how you pronounce it, but it's a size 150. Right-handed, uh, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. And I don't think they sell this like anywhere else. They were selling them at the expo. But the Shimano SLX, this is like the model that was before the SLX, I guess. And then paired, paired with this, which is also something I got at the expo, is a... Californian, I don't know if you guys can read that. It's a Californian CBX, which I don't know what that means. I think that's just the rod model. And then it's a C, which I don't know what that means either, but 7-1, which is the 7 foot 1 inch. And then it, the H is for heavy. And this is a heavy fast rod, so it will be good for heavier jigs and stuff like that. And then, yeah, it shows here line 10 to 20 pound mono, lures 1 quarter to 1 and 1 quarter ounce. It's a really nice combo. It's super light, really well balanced. And on here, I just have, I've gone fishing with it one time for so far at a lake and it is very, you can feel everything on the bottom. You can feel whether you're going over a rock, a stump, through vegetation, it's awesome. I have 40 pound braid on here, like my other bait caster. Not my swim bait one though, I have 65 pound. And then just 14 pound mono leader. I've tied here with a uni to uni knot. Right there. And on here I have a Jig, I don't know what brand this is, but the trailer for that is a Z-Man uh, Turbo Craw, I believe. Which is, I really like on the back of a jig, because it floats actually, and it does have a really good action, but when it floats, it, or what, what happens is you like, you're dragging it and stuff, and it comes down, and then as soon as you stop it, it lifts up like this, so it gets in that defensive position like a craw would, so that's really nice. But back to the rod. It has a split grip, and it has this, I've never seen this before, but it's a, like a, the foam material here, 
and there's cork right here and then cork here and then the foam material here and then some kind of like plastic material I think right here and then cork again on the very bottom so that, that's really cool and then the the real seat is something that I haven't seen before either it's like this really cool cutout where it's like that and then open on the back too just makes it lighter not that they needed to make it lighter because it is already very light yeah but again Shimano Casitas and then California CBX rod yeah it's, it's really nice and actually one of my dad's friends at the expo was the one who bought that reel and that rod for me and then also this next reel right here this is a Shimano Sustain. It is a spinning reel. I mean, oops. It has to like be unscrewed in the package so it can fit in there. Let me screw that in real quick. And, okay, sorry about this. There we go. Boom, Shimano Sustain. This is a, like the other one, it's light, very smooth. Oh, that's why I forgot to tell you about the other one. That one is so smooth. It's that that rod and that reel is just perfect. Like combined is perfect for jigs. Yeah, but this is really smooth. It's really balanced. Like some spinning reels, when you spin this like that, the weight of the handle will move the reel up and down. And this one does not, so that's good. It's foam handle. I would rather I like foam or like this material here. This like plastic or rubber, I guess better than cork i don't know why i just like it better it lasts longer than cork too but here this this is nice this is also given to me by my dad's friend there's the drag system here I'll, I'll probably be using this for not like more finesse but like well yeah finesse ish type bait but it's gonna be like bigger finesse baits if that makes sense like shaky heads and stuff like that so it's still finesse but it's like a bigger finesse bait i could also like that's what i'm trying to look at right now for rods and stuff like that is ones that would be good for shaky heads and stuff like that and also like ned rigs drop shot i could throw on this because my other rod um spinning rod already is shorter and it's a little bit heavier so i can already throw bigger baits on that one so i want one from Smaller finesse things. Very nice reel. Yeah, I have to unscrew this again to get it back in. But both of these, I believe, come with real oil and stuff like that. Lubricant, whatever. Yeah. Like, here, let me get this one out. I couldn't find it in that one just now. But it comes with real oil I believe that's what that is yeah so this is just the box to my bait casting reel if you guys didn't already know that that's why there's nothing in this one I just already have that on the rod and this rod too it's, it has micro guides well, they're not like really micro guides, but they're smaller guides. And they're small, or they're still big enough that I can get my um, uni to uni knot through it. And then what's really cool about the design of this rod, if you guys can see this, it looks almost like it's carbon fiber wrapped through here. Oh, yeah, you guys can see that. And same with the handle right here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I usually don't like split handles, but I got this one and I was casting it around. And I guess with my new swim bait rod, because when you cast, you want more leverage to be able to throw that bait far. I just kind of cast like that now, I guess. So it's like, usually I would just like, I would grab up here, but now I grab down here. So the split handle doesn't really bother me. I can just cast that really easy. You know, with the jig, it's not like a big lob either. It's like a faster whip, I guess. Yeah, with this rod, very light again. <laughs> Super light. I'll try to link the rod and stuff 
down below. The real I don't think I'll be able to link because I don't think anywhere sells them anymore. They were just at the warehouse on a good sale. And I think it was like closeout sale or something, even though those haven't been in stores for a while. So yeah, that's that's everything. And again, I will try to link all of these. I'll link the I won't link the tackle warehouse link for the sneaky peek. I'll link it straight to their site so you guys can check out their magic mouse and stuff. I believe Carl's Bait and Tackle always or also carries their stuff. And this 13 fishing that rattle trap, I'll try to link down, I'll, I'll link to Tackle Warehouse and I'll link this website. And then the flies, I don't know which brand that is, so I can't link that. But I'll link the, try, I'll link the spinning reel, but I'll try to link this reel because I don't know if they have links. I'll link the rod too. Alright guys, when I was filming the outro, I realized that I also got this shirt at the expo. It is a huck fishing shirt. When it's the one when they teamed up with Mossy Oak. I don't know if you can read that. But it says, oh, maybe. Mossy Oak. It's like a Mossy Oak print. It's like these scales and stuff. It's supposed to be camo. But it's white. I have a different shirt like this, but it's blue. But this one also has the Diablo logo here. And it says Diablo on my sleeve. And also, it says Diablo right there. If you can see that. Yes. Okay. Or it doesn't say Daiwa, but it has the, like, this right here. <clears throat> but, yeah, this I got from the expo, too. So that's cool. And, yeah, so if you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're new to the channel. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.